it's 2020. And Arkansas is just now starting to, you know, get a little spotlight on the state. You know, go ahead and let the state know who exactly you is. What's up, what's up, what's up? Bank Road to Long Wolf. If you ain't know, now you know. Shit. Streaming on all platforms. Tune in. I'm an artist. And this vibe. And this vibe. Most definitely. You know, so how did the whole movement, the bankroll, like, how did the whole movement even get started? Man, I started out making beats, really. Um, like in 2017, I wanted to like really do something with music, but I ain't wanna, I ain't wanna be in the spotlight, so to say, all that shit. So I was pushed to just be like, man, go ahead, bro, make music, make music, cause I used to freestyle with my homeboys, all that shit. So it just came about. The bankroll part, that shit kind of came. I used to listen to, uh, I listen to all types of music. I used to listen to like Bankroll Fresh too. And it used to be like an ad lib of his. I always do like uh, Bankroll or some shit like that. So, and then my nickname Ro in the bank and all that shit. That's kind of how that shit kind of came together. So, took it and took off. When we first got started, you mentioned you're an artist, you know, you put emphasis on that. So, you know, what exactly do you mean? By artist, I mean, like, I can hop on like, anything. Like, I'm giving all different type of vibes. Like, I don't want to put, like, no cap on my creativeness on, like, where I can take this shit, like, where I can go with this shit. Like, if I want to go hop on a pop song, hop on a rap song, hop on a hip hop song, do a R and B, I can sing, I can rap, make art with that shit, tell a story, all that shit. So, that's what I mean by artists. Like, I can write or I can go in the stool, punch some shit in. So. And, and when you say, you know, you're an artist, you know, I see you got multiple things that you can do. Would you say that's a gift and a curse? Yeah, it could be a gift and a curse because sometimes you lean more towards something you really shouldn't be doing at the moment or like, I don't know, like something you really want to do probably ain't something you should be focused on right then and now. So. You put yourself in that situation. How have it, you know, how would you say it affected you? I mean, I, I, I've still been successful. I feel like I'm still growing, though. Like, as an artist, I'm still growing, of course. I ain't got everything figured out, but I feel like I'm just trying to stay consistent with, like, each one. So I don't lose in any area. <laughs> Always ready. So I heard you used to be an athlete. Yeah. Was that interfering with music or was you, you know, how, how was that? I mean, yeah, basically that was another thing. Like if I was still doing what I was doing, athletics, playing ball and shit, I probably wouldn't have been making music. So everything happened for a reason. What was it, you know, that led you to it though? Like, I'm saying just my uh, my passion for music. You know, I'm always rapping all this, that, and the third, listening to music. I'm always keeping up with the next hot artists, all this, that. So, my fifth and why not? So, you gotta use a gift for it to get taken from. Me. You know, so. <laughs> well, definitely. And you know, the, yo, yo, you know, walk us through your process of making music. You know, from the time you hear the beat, like, everything, like, how, how are you choosing to be? Like, the the beat, it just got to set the tone, like, from the jump. Like, when I hear it, 
Like it just come natural. I can hear how I'ma come on it, like how I'ma if it's gonna be fast, if it's gonna be slow, if it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying, some hip hop shit, R and B. But you know what I'm, you know if it if it's that beat. You know what I'm saying? So it's just go from there. Then I just take the tone. If I'm punching in something, I just go in the stool, I punch it in, I just go from there. If I'm writing, I kind of take my time. I don't like forcing no writing stuff. So, it's just a matter of approach. No, it's definitely. And you know, I know you've been hearing about coronavirus going on, <laughs> you know. What's your input on it? Wash your hands. Get dap, no handshakes. Niggas be fake anyway. Um, I don't know. If you want to take a flight, take a flight. Fuck it. Shit, you, you grown. Just don't come back. Don't come out in this way. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Touching back on the music, you know, I seen you recently drop, you know, what was, was that something that was planned or that just kind of happened or? Um, which one are you talking about? Um, Long Wolf or? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that one. That one was planned, yeah, that project was planned. It was just, a project just diving deeper into like a bad uh, stuff I'm trying to do with the music. Like my first project that I was like more focused on. Oh, okay, yeah, he can make music, or he can put these bars together, he can do this. But I was just having fun on that one, giving real vibes. If you ain't listen to that motherfucker, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna listen to that motherfucker though. It's on all platforms, Apple Music, Tidal, all that shit, Spotify. Yeah. Wait. You know, so where, where are you originally from? I'm originally from Little Rock, Little Rock, Arkansas. Born and raised. Yeah, sir. John Barrow. You know, how was it growing up in the city? I mean, I don't know. I guess growing up, you don't really see nothing wrong because you just growing up in your <laughs> environment, doing whatever, running around. I was always running around. My homeboys, I was really outside and shit a lot, like running up and down, wherever, Roma, wherever. Um, just kicking it. I didn't really see it as a bad place. Of course, bad shit happened. The house get broken into, cars, all that shit. But shit, that just, that's just life. <laughs> How I view it, shit. You know, the different high schools and schools throughout the city, you know. Which one did you attend? Shit, I went to Parkview, the high school. Who you would say was your biggest rival? My biggest rival? Basketball hall, probably. Hall Basketball high. hall. Yeah. <coughs> uh, football, I wasn't really like, I don't know. I don't know. Who? We, we had a rival. Damn. <laughs> so like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We ain't really had no rival football though, like for real. When it comes to getting everything done on the business side, everything like that, is it just you? Or, you know, you got a management, you got a team? Um. No, it ain't it ain't like just solely just me. I do got a team, like we we constantly building and growing. Like shout out to the gang. I already know gang well. We got and grow. Um nah, yeah. Not no management or nothing like that. Like I'm self promoting me and my team up that I'm building or whatever, yeah, they be helping me and shit like that, but we finna put some shit together and make it work. Would you say 
you know, that's that's a key thing. Like, you need a team or management. I mean, you gotta know when to put your pride to a side, like to a certain extent. Like, so yeah, like if you don't if you don't know nobody, so it, it ain't always what you know is who you know. So at some point, yeah. But it can be done with just your team at the same time if they're working hard and like believe in the vision just as much as you. So that's why I said like my team still building because like you can't let everybody in. But, mm -hmm. Energy important, for real. Uh, Growing up though, you know, what artists you say you were you were raised on? Like who some people that you took notes from? Took notes as far as like my music. Um, I don't know, like my my music that I listen to, like the variety so big, like I can kind of tell you, like now, like I fuck with, like who I can relate to, like K Camp, mm, Black A Boogie, I fuck, of course I fuck with Future. Mm, I listen to too much music, bro. I don't know, the vibes keep going, though. That's all I know. What do music mean to you, though? Shit, that's a passion. It's a way that, like, you can leave a legacy behind. Like, that shit, I can be great still making music if I want to, or I can already leave some behind, like, people can still be listening to. Like Bob Marley did, like, and it's just a way to connect with your people. Like, you can vent, it's a release, passion. It's shit. It's big with our culture, too, so. It means a lot. Pearl. You know, life, life real. It can get tough sometimes, you know, people go through a lot. Depression and stress, you know. What's your, you know, speak on how you feel about that? Man, um, I mean, shit, if you're going through it, shit, just talk to somebody. I don't know, find somebody you're comfortable with, it. just talk to them. That's my only take on it for real. Um, I lost a pilot to some shit like that, so. Yeah. That shit's serious, so talk to somebody, shit. Everybody got a breaking point at some point, shit, so. You gotta bottle all this shit, man. Mm -hmm. That's my only take on it, cause I ain't, you know, just going through that shit personally, but, you know, speak up, shit. Before we wrap it up, though, what's some positive? Drink water. You gonna leave for the youth? Drink water. Um, man, whatever you, whatever you wanna do, shit, just stay consistent. Shit, that's the main, the main thing. Like, you gonna have people say no. You gonna have people think differently. But shit, at the end of the day. It only stop when you stop that shit, so shit keep going. Go ahead and let the people know where they can find you on social media. Shit, find me on Instagram at Bankroll, Twitter at the Bankroll, T H E Bankroll, B N K R O W. Shit, I ain't got no snap. Um, them really main too. Just find me on them. Apple Music, Bankroll, and all the other stuff, all the other platforms, and SoundCloud.